What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new and this is the very first time you stopping by my channel, I definitely do appreciate all of you and of course, hopefully you stick around long enough to become part of the Mustang Hunter family by clicking that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. So guys, I know I haven't talked about this much and I do apologize, but I wanted to thank every single person who has been subscribing to my channel and giving me all the support on my videos, commenting, giving thumbs up to watch some content that I hope you guys continue to enjoy. If it wasn't for you guys and gals, whoever's out there supporting this channel, I wouldn't be making this content. Every time I go out and peg hunt, I wanna make sure that I'm giving you the best quality, but it's all about you guys. I love making these videos and without you, like I said, the Mustang Hunter channel wouldn't be anything. Being that it's Friday, that means Thanksgiving is over. So hopefully y'all had a great Thanksgiving with family and friends and of course all the loved ones. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, hopefully you still spent time with family and friends uh, and you were safe about it. So like I said, it is free at Friday. So let's go ahead and do what we do every Friday and that's open up a cast. It's from Auto World and it is a new casting from Auto World. Um, it's pretty much the same difference because Johnny Lightning and Auto World are practically the same company. Um, but this one is the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. It's not the normal Hellcat. It's the one that comes just below the Dodge Demon because it has the same wide body kit on it. But this is number one of 10,816. So not that rare, um, but it is a new casting like it says right here. Um, but this car on the quick facts tells you that it's a 6.2 liter supercharged producing 797 horsepower and 707 foot pounds of torque. Now that is 90 horsepower over the traditional Hellcat. So I can only imagine how fast this thing is. Right here at the bottom, like they always do on the Johnny Lightnings as well as Auto World, is you got the paint code, which is PHG and 914-308 Plum Crazy or Plum Crazy Purple. Um, but this is one of the old Mopar colors and I'm glad they brought this back out for the newer Mopar cars. Um, this was featured on the cover in September of 2019. Um, so this casting is supposed to be that one. That one's actually Plum Crazy Purple. This is like a shade too dark, I feel, because Plum Crazy Purple is a very vibrant purple. Um, but this is just a little shade off, I think. Um, but it looks really good. This is release four of version A. Coming on the back, you do have all six for the 2020 release right here you have the 67 cadillac el dorado 79 chevy c10 scottsdale fleet side this new casting of the red eye 70 dodge challenger rt which is a new casting variation 67 chevelle ss in red which i saw on the pegs and the 71 mustang boss 351 which i did manage to find but yeah, I do love Auto Worlds and Johnny Lightnings just for the sheer quality of the card as well as the car. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and open this up so we can take a better look outside of the box. Take it out, look at that. Right before it comes out the blister, there we go, look at that. All right guys, let's take a look at this paint job. You guys know I'm always gonna showcase this first off, but look at that metallic purple it's plum crazy but it doesn't look plum crazy to me it looks a little too dark for it to be the plum crazy purple but look at the detail so far on the side you got the matching wheels that that are very very close to being accurate to the actual vehicle uh, which i do love i did notice the fact that the front wheel spokes are opened you can see through them but the rear one isn't it's completely sealed and i wonder why and this front wheel is actually kind of bent. It doesn't even spin right. Um, but anyways, you do have the nice tampo fuel door right there. You do have the bottom skirts that are in matte black all the way around. You do have the really cool Hellcat red eye badge on the fender right there. Even the little red eye is detailed. You do have the front and rear amber and reflectors right there on the bumpers. And then coming around the front, Look at that detail right there. You do have the headlight tampos as well as the inner ringed headlights uh, where the inlets are on these cars. Those are where the inlets um, route to the airbox and straight into the engine bay to cool it for cooler temperatures. Um, you do have really good upper and lower grill details. 
the lower splitter is part of the casting, so it's really, really sharp. Um, but I do like that. You do have the signature Hellcat hood right here, which is the dual nostril. Now, what they said over the review of this car is used as everyone knows that the hood that is on the Dodge Demon is the largest factory hood scoop on any production car ever made. It is massive. It is literally the size of these two nostrils put together. And the fact that the Hellcat Red Eye has these two nostrils surprisingly reduced the horsepower just a little bit. It affected it that much. Um, of course, you wouldn't want this to be at the same level as the Dodge Demon because that car is a whole new beast on its own. I mean, you're talking 800 horsepower, um, but on race fuel, it is 840 horsepower. I mean, that is insane. The fact that you can buy a passenger seat for $1 and then have the bigs and littles on there from the factory as a drag ready car is amazing. Now the next level down is this Hellcat Red Eye, which I still think is an amazing car. It's 797 horsepower. And of course, if you have the red key, you get the full power of that 797. Now the funny thing about that is the fact that you have two keys, you got the black key and the red key. The red key of course is for track purposes only, which unlocks all the full potential and power. But when you have the black key, you have so many driving modes. You even have eco mode, which their eco mode is 500 horsepower. When has a car ever said that their eco mode is 500 horsepower? That is more than a lot of cars even put out today. I mean, I mean, look at the Coyote Mustangs. Those come out with, I think they're at 450 horsepower now. That's not even 500 horsepower. And this is what the eco mode for the Hellcat Red Eye. I'm not trashing Mustangs because you know I'm the Mustang hunter, but still, that's saying a lot from these Mopar cars. Coming around the other side, I did notice that the front wheel is sealed and the rear wheel is open and this wheel is also bent. So, oh man, it's actually lowering the quality of this vehicle, but it is what it is. Moving on to the rear, you do have the nice, fully detailed rear end the tail lights, the reverse lights, even the Dodge badging in between those tail lights right there on the trunk. You do have the Muscle Machines license plate right there, as well as the reflector tampos and then the exhaust coming out the back. Um, it does have the black interior. And of course, just like any Auto World or Johnny Lightning, it is a full metal cast with the real rider type wheels on there. Now, like I'd mentioned, the wheels are bent on the front as well as the rear, and the wheels are definitely sealed on opposite ends, but open on opposite ends. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe some leftover paint that actually sealed up that wheel. Um, but like they mentioned on their card, they have tooled two different rims and tires, two different spoilers, and three different hoods. Um, I know with the real car, you can actually order this without the wide body, but if you're going to get a red eye, why would you not get a wide body? Because it's not going to have the same wide wheels all the way around like this one does. Um, these ones actually come with 305s all the way around, so that is a wide, meaty tire on all four corners. Um, now, unlike the Dodge Demon, this is a road course and road track ready car, so it is only an automatic I know all you automatic uh, haters out there are like, what? But it is a different function than the Dodge Demon. The Dodge Demon was meant to go down the track. I know the consistency of an automatic was, is super killer, especially in bracket racing and being consistent with times. Um, but I definitely feel that with this 797 horsepower, an automatic would be okay because automatics nowadays are very efficient, very quick, and you ain't ever going to outshift an automatic. So... Um, the fact that you can just get in this car and drive and casually drive without shifting through gears, which is a lot of fun. I would never buy a muscle car that was automatic unless it was the new Coyote because those transmissions are amazing. It's still an impressive vehicle, looks intimidating, and especially with that wide body. Overall, this car is very, very nice and detailed. Let's go ahead and see what this hood has underneath it. Let's see if it's got some detail. I hate using this thumbtack, guys, but these Auto World and Johnny Lightnings are very hard to open. All right, there you go. You got the supercharger sitting up top and it's actually painted silver and the motor is black. You do have the painted purple cold air intake with the black box housing. Um, so it actually does have some pretty good detail. The fact that they painted the blower, that's all that matters because that's what really stands out 
on these Hellcat engines is that supercharger. You do have a white tank on the side. I don't know if it's a coolant reservoir or an intercooler tank for the supercharger, but something there is, is white and I don't know what it is, but I'll post a picture of the actual engine bay. That way you can compare what this is supposed to be, but definitely super nice. I do like the Dodge Challengers, um, but if I'm going to get any type of Hellcat, it's going to be the Charger. I'm just a I just love the new Dodge Chargers. Those are tough looking, especially with the family. I can fit them in there and be fast. Yeah, that's great. Overall, this car is a nice, nice new casting from Auto World. I love the color. I love the wheels on it. Not these ones because they're bent, but you know what I'm saying. I do like the setup of this car. And of course, the weight of it, it just definitely shows the quality um, of material on here. It's all metal casting, so it's definitely heavy. It's got some weight to it, um, but yeah. Definitely a sweet car um, and Auto World and Johnny Lightning never disappoint as far as detail goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you like about this car. Until next time, stay tuned for more. This is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.